With such high unemployment, yet so much construction going on, would you support a program of San Leandro jobs for San Leandro people, like Oakland's recent initiative for Oakland jobs for Oakland people? I, I agree with Councilman Prola. You know, keeping our dollars local is important because every dollar spent in San Leandro uh, circulates, you know, spent with a local business circulates within San Leandro on average five to seven times. So it's important. You know, we can start by giving preference to qualified local contractors. I was dismayed to hear that when the city council caters their meetings, they call a restaurant in Castro Valley. I was concerned to learn that the tree trimming that was done along East 14th and Bancroft was done by a, a company out of Southern California. You know, we need to give preference to our local uh, businesses because keeping our jobs local keeps the money local, that keeps boosting our economy over and over again. Yes, um, I'm in agreement with um, Council Member Perla, and I agree that local hire is the way to go. Currently, we do have a um, local hire ordinance with 15% of our, to make sure that 15% of our um, business contracts, when they go out for bid, go to San Leandro owned companies. I also believe in project labor agreements to make sure that our union members get the correct pay that is, um, that is competitive with others at all times. Absolutely, we need to be fostering our, our local business uh, businesses that reside in this town, the residents. <clears throat> I think they absolutely should have first shot at bids. Um, doesn't mean that you know if their bid is $3 million that we give it to them when the bid from someone who lives in Hayward is for $1 million. But it's absolutely important that we're fostering the businesses that are here, the residents that are here, and we need to find ways to continue to do that and shepherd those businesses and hopefully getting them tied into civic uh, work. But um, I mean, the, the kids, they need jobs. I definitely think um, something like ROP. Look, back in the day when you wanted to be a blacksmith, you know, you went and became an apprentice and then you became the master one day. And I think that, that, that folks don't necessarily learn. Some may not be qualified. Some of the residents here may not be qualified uh, you know, to, the, to the academic level that is required by some companies, but it doesn't mean they can't do the job. So I think on-job training is something that we should initiate as well because those who may not be uh, as scholarly um, uh, astute, they may do the job better than that person with a PhD.